<clears throat> What's up, y'all? It's Grant back here with another episode of The Groovy Files. And today, I want to talk about a very specific topic. So back in about 2015, you know, to Pimper Butterfly was going around um, the year before the whole Mike Brown incident happened. May he rest in peace. Um, but then also... The song All Right was co-opted by the Black Lives Matter movement and was basically essentially a very big political symbol at the time. And fast forward to today, um, the issue that's going on in Palestine with uh, the genocide and people have been asking Beyonce hey, can you not air your movie in Israel? And I saw footage of people, of people of, um, people in Israel using, someone piece of poopy in Israel using that, uh, you won't break my soul as their fight song, et cetera, et cetera. All, which segues into my point. I think we have to understand when some rappers are just rappers and some rappers and musicians are much bigger than just rappers and musicians, right? Um, I know it's not, sometimes it may be intentional, sometimes it's not intentional, sometimes they're just a victim of their own success, sometimes they're not, but when you're in that position of when you're when you're to that level where you're even even indirectly if you're not trying to your music makes a certain level of societal impact there has to be a line where and you have to draw it you can't just i ain't going to say you can't just turn a blind eye to stuff but it's very very hard to like your platform like you have to do something about it um if you so I talked about this on Twitter over the past couple of days, and the big thing for me is all we feel this we all high popularity rappers have been held to this standard. High all high level musicians. I don't even know. I don't think it's some some. I don't think it's greater as fairly compared to white musicians. But all of these musicians, uh, specifically black have been held to this standard at some point in this career, during their career. I'm talking about musicians that you know have really big, that are very big on social commentary and things like that, even though they're not activists. I don't compare them to just a regular artist. Like, for example, Jay, Jay-Z, for example, right? He, he's been known as, oh, I'm the capitalist. I'm the, like, in the beginning of his career, he's like, yeah, I'm the capitalist. I get money. That's what I do. Like, that's, that's my thing. And then kind of around when 444 came around, kind of bouncing around with certain politics. And it's fine, but there's nothing. It's not insane that somebody is calling you out for doing something shady, right? Uh, like the whole issue with Cap and Jay Z and the NFL, um, and then you know this beyond current Beyonce issue, or when J Cole got called out for calling no name out of her name, um, and things of that nature. Um, so my well, not necessarily calling her name, but responding to no name. Um, so my big thing is that. There's certain musicians have to understand that they are a there is a certain level that they have reached where all critique isn't off the table. Um, and I feel like the biggest the best example of this is and I feel like no shout out to No Name with Salt and Sundial, the rapper. She talked about this on her album about how all indirectly all black musicians with a platform have a have a fight in the struggle 
indirectly, even though they don't think they do. Like, for example, music, music is powerful. It's inspiring. It can, it can rally people together, even though these people should not be held to the same standard as activists or actual politicians or people doing the actual work in like people doing like very heavy political work. I do think it is very, it's a very nuanced thing because there's a different scale you kind of have to, I ain't going to say grade them all, but they, they, but also with rappers in general, I think you can't quote certain ideologies by certain rappers, musicians, et cetera, can't quote certain ideologies or phrases or um, things like from revolutionaries like Malcolm, Mandela, uh, MLK, all all this stuff. And then when you're critiqued on your politics, it's not just, oh, I'm just a rapper. Oh, I'm just a musician. It's very, you have to be very careful with that stuff. And it's not like a, it's not me trying to just slander our music, our black musicians. Um, but just right now, it all you, if you are a musician in the black community, a very big one, I ain't gonna say you viewed as a view as a political figure, but you're more so you're not not one. Like you're you're looked at as a voice, a very big voice that can make change and you have to be careful with that. That's not. I'm not telling people what to do with their lives. I'm not telling people what they shouldn't shouldn't do. I'm just saying we've reached a point to where we have to stop thinking that these politics don't. These politics not gonna look gonna look funny in the light. But other than that, that's pretty much it. Um, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Um, I'll be back with another episode. And also, I got a new mic, so that is on the way as well. But y'all be easy.